one. We're reviewing an Alchemy Gothic ring. I'm kind of excited about this one. It's fun because this one's discontinued, so it's kind of more rare. And if you guys are new to subscribe and check out our spooky playlists, I'm Morticia. This is our roommate Slappy. Gomez is behind the camera, cameraing. And this is what we have going on today is this awesome ring. It was discontinued in 2009, and it's called the Salamander Stone Ring. And there are two salamander rings that Alchemy Gothic has. I will be getting the other one as well because they're vastly different. So that's cool. They're both discontinued, actually. But this one was from Poshmark. It's like $25 there. And then I found a place on eBay that has it for like $31. So I'll put both links in case one runs out. Those are the two best prices that you're going to get this one. The other one is even far more expensive. So, um, But this one is got, it's the one with two salamanders on it. I have another ring in front of him because this is only available in a size nine and a half and I'm way smaller than that. I'm like a five or a six. So luckily I had a band that didn't look too bad when I stack it together. So if you want it and you're not that size, that's my advice. I have my um, two Ravens Viking band and I just put it in front of it. And it's just big enough that it doesn't slide over it, but it's small enough that I can wear them together and the ravens aren't dwarfing the salamander design. So I might get see if I can get a ring guard or something eventually at our jewelry store, but I'm not sure if a ring guard can help it when it's that much bigger. But it'll be interesting to find out. It's an adventure. But let me take them off so you can see all the designs. There. This reminds me of the Absence Fairy Ring I have from Alchemy Gothic in that that one has a fairy on either side of the stone, and so does this one, um, except it's a salamander. I have a jewelry playlist if you guys are new of all my cool spooky jewelry I get at the best prices for you. So check it out to accessorize awesomely. I will link it in the description when I link the links to get this ring. But the tail is curling down across the band on both sides. That's cool. And the salamander is kind of lying on his side wrapped around the stone. They're kind of cuddling it together on either side. They're sharing the stone as it were. And they're on their side so you just see like the front and back leg on both sides because I guess they're lying on the other one when they're lying on their sides so um, so it's like the head is here right in front of my finger and then the body is curled around and the tail is down on the band and the other one the head is the other direction this way and then it's curled around same position and then there goes all the tail it's a nice little loop design and this is a pewter ring as alchemy gothics items are and the stone is Swarovski it's not faceted it's just like an oval cabochon um, very polished and smooth. They usually do faceted. So this is one of the the only one I have right now that isn't faceted. So that's interesting. Um, kind of neat to see older designs. And they've had designs since the 70s. So maybe I even have some more that are older. I know my bat with the, the skein of bats and the blood red moon is discontinued, I think. So yeah, I have a few discontinued pieces that I've managed to find online. My Jack the Ripper one is also my necklace for Jack the Ripper is discontinued. It's called Jack's Tally. So I have an alchemy playlist, in other words, and we will link that too. That's just all of our alchemy gothic items. But anyway, this is a nice sturdy piece. It's one of those middle rings, not too small, not too big. Um, nice design. I love salamanders, and I like the fact that they made a couple salamander pieces. They also have a salamander ear wrap. I probably won't get that because I have a few earrings that wrap around, and I just don't wear them enough, so like a cuff. So I like them, and I'm keeping them, but I probably won't invest in more. Um... But this is nice. You see the salamanders on either side. The stone is cool because it's like a blue-green. And the alchemical fires can look like that, like blue or green. It depends on what's being burned. So that's kind of a neat fire stone choice other than the typical red or orange because they're using salamanders. So I like that. And there's a lot of mythology tying the salamander in with the philosopher's stone. And this ring is not called the philosopher's, blah, blah, philosopher's stone. But the other ring I'm going to get is... But this just says with stone, but it could be assumed that it's meant to be something like that. This ring is also intended to symbolize immortality, as salamanders do. Kind of like the phoenix, in a sense, but they kind of have their own way about them with that. So, nice ring. Again, good size. It's a good solid weight, but not, like, too heavy. And this is how it would look It's if it fit me without another ring being in front of it. And then I'm just going to put my ring, and I've got my moth ring on that I'm wearing on the other finger with it and my plague doctor mask ring that I made myself is not a noise so that is the ring very cool and if you like lizards it's just neat lizards are like easy enough to find in rings but not so much salamanders I've actually seen people selling rings and pendants that they will call lizard salamander gecko it's like gecko and salamander are quite different people 
but this is actually a correctly well done salamander so that's very cool a neat amphibian on its own and then a cool like mythological creature it's one of the four elements of the four elementals there are salamanders for fire gnomes for earth sylphs or fairies for air and then undines or mermaids or water spirits for water so this is the fire elemental which is another reason i like it so much so that's a little interesting background and the alchemy gothic ring itself and the review we hope you enjoyed until next time stay elemental my friends